Hi, I'm Ray, a nifty producer, and I'm gonna give you some tips on our lightweight concrete table. If you wanna keep the table from cracking, treat it like you would any other table. Don't be super hard with it, don't smash things on it, and it should last. Another way to keep the table from cracking is to make sure that the concrete has completely cured and you've applied a good amount of sealer so that all of the things can be held together. If you're still worried and you want something to reinforce your concrete, I would suggest using a fiber reinforced concrete, but that's a little pricey and you're probably not gonna get as smooth of a finish, but it will probably be a little stronger. Make sure you just treat your table like you would any other table. You don't wanna pound too hard on it. You don't wanna flip it. You don't wanna do all these crazy things to it. You just wanna make sure that you're treating it like you would any table so that it wouldn't crack. The top comment in the video said to use a featherweight concrete. We said to use a lightweight concrete. Funny thing is, they're the exact same thing, but they were just called different things. So as long as you're putting together your table the right way, it should turn out to be smooth and at the end, you're still gonna get the same quality as long as you do it the right way. If you don't have a giant table to use this technique on, you can use it on almost anything. I've used it for, what's the thing called? Side, do we just call it a side table? Is it a side table? We'll call it a side table. <laughs> Yeah. You can use this technique on almost anything that has a flat surface. I've used this on two of my side tables that I currently have, and it works great because it's flat, it's cool, it looks heavy, but it's not. I've also used this technique to create two surfaces, one for Nifty and one for Tasty. So if you see something in the background that has like a dark concrete look, those are the surfaces. For those of you that were worried that this table wasn't gonna hold up, the video's been out for a few months and the table actually ended up with one of the other producers, Tiger. He was able to take the table, bring it to his apartment by himself, chop off the legs so that it would be a little shorter, and instead of having it as a large dining room table, he's using it as a coffee table. I'm actually using this technique right now to create a small table for my patio, just because I found that concrete does really well outside. Big surprise. So yeah, you can use it on almost anything and as long as you don't flip it, it should be fine. If you're gonna spend the time to put together this table, I would suggest investing in some kind of hardware that would allow you to change the height of your legs just so that the table can grow with your needs. The height that I made the legs for this table was made so that it could be a dining room table, but Tiger decided to cut it down so that it could be used for a coffee table. For my dining room table, I made it so that it was about waist height so that I could eat on it when I'm either standing or I could sit down and enjoy it at a nice comfortable level. If you're cutting your legs so that it could be a coffee table, make sure that it's something that you could sit at when you're just lying down and chilling on the floor. Feel free to try this technique out on any other things and if you do make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section and let us know how your table turned out.